history, the Black Lives Matter movement has sparked many conversations on how America can move forward in fighting against racism and in ways which law enforcement can be remodeled. But some educators say it is time to start from the beginning and focus on how to transform the way black history is taught in classrooms. So joining us to talk about that right now is history education professor and director of the center, the Carter Center for K through 12 black history education at the University of Missouri, LeGarrette King. Thanks for being with us. Good morning and thanks for having me. So, Professor King, to understand what children are learning today and what may be omitted from the classroom, give us an indication of what is being taught. Well, typically, black history is centered around three historical eras, uh, slavery, civil rights slash reconstruction, as well as the modern 1960s civil rights movement. Um, and those particular topics are taught, but they're not connected with each other. Um, they're kind of sanitized, um, not to really approach um, critical analysis, as well as the notions of race and racism is only centered individually and not connected to the systemic aspects of how race and racism has kind of portrayed through our society. So, Professor, where should the curriculum actually begin? Is it beginning truly where it should, or should it go back even farther in history? Well, in terms of black history, um, there are severe implications in starting black people as slaves, right? Particularly when we think about the um, segregated way in which our society is kind of situated. Um, so therefore, we need to begin before um, U.S. enslavement um, in terms of black history education to begin with the continent of Africa and talk about the various different ethnic uh, communities that populated the ancient African civilizations that began um, in the continent before um, the transatlantic slave trade. I think that's really important that you say that because that therefore children are not seeing black people introduced as slaves but as people with a culture and a country. Yes, exactly. History is about identity and also history is about humanity. It's the first time that we learn about ourselves, right? But it's also the first time we learn about the other. Uh, and we have to really understand that history is not just about the past, but it's the ways in which we understand people in the present as well. So therefore, if there's a connection that black people were only slaves, in many ways, people see black people as slaves today, not necessarily owned or legally um, you know, connected with law, but the ways in which um, our ideas are processed, we're dispossessed of agency, um, and all these particular aspects I think are extremely important for us to consider. Yeah, there are a lot of intricacies that are included with that. So let's talk about the uh, center that you are hosting a virtual uh, conference coming up this week where teachers across the country, in fact, can learn and get the curriculums right, if you will. Right. So the Teaching Black History Conference, this is our third one. And our um, overall theme this year is teaching black her story. So we are centering uh, black women's history within um, the curriculum. Um, but we have over 700 uh, teachers, educators that are already registered, and we are extremely excited. Over 50 presentations um, will be had and um, our featured um you know, panelists includes Kyla Gross of Rutgers University and Diana uh, Barry of the University of Texas, who were the authors or who are the authors of a black women's history of the United States of America. Great program lined up for folks to learn, uh, to listen. And it's wonderful that you're providing that, especially virtually in this this age of the pandemic. We appreciate your time and your insight today, Professor King. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it.